What's up guys, I'm here to tell you about my newest PVT build. Um, I have been experimenting it a lot on the ladder. And as you can see, we are ranked 28, so I've been playing a lot lately. And I'm gonna show you my main account. Hmm, what code was it? All right, this one. So on this account, I'm also top 30 grandmasters in Europe. So hopefully this build you know it's gonna help you guys improve a lot because I have been doing it a lot lately um, and it works for me but I don't know how it works in lower leagues like uh, there's probably not, not not one build for every single league well anyways I'm gonna show you guys it and then you can adjust it to your own league depending on you know how much my consensus you are and how much you know early game harassment there is usually in your league anyways going into the replay um, we are gonna make a normal gateway expansion and I'm gonna speed it up in the beginning because this is always the same 13 pylon, 16 gate, 16 gas and then we scout and notice I have 16 on the middle line and I have no mining uh, no gas mining because if you look here um, I have no gas mining mainly because I want the expansion really quickly and of course if you get the expansion quicker then you get more income quicker because then your pro production is faster and so on anyways um, no gas mining and then we build the nexus and then we rally probes to the gas and build the cybernetics core and by the way this was a 19 cybernetics core and uh, which means we cut probes at 19 built the nexus we still cut probes and built the 7 x core and then we build then we start probe production and build a 21 gas and this is of course scouting to see if anything is going on and by the way if they're building a reactor and um, you can stay because nothing is going to kill you uh, well anyways that's just a little note you know if there's <laughs> if it's not producing anything you can just stay here and harass but anyways, um, at home, we want to build a uh, Mothership Core, Twilight, and then a Robo. So this one, well, here, here's the tricky part. You can, if there's no units coming from your base, you can choose to make this differently. You can choose to go for the Twilight, uh, and then Mothership Core, and then a Robo. But I would recommend building the Mothership before Twilight. Anyways, going into the build, um... Twilight, wait, Mothership, <laughs> Twilight Robo. <laughs> Ignore that the Mothership is missing, alright? Because I'm just... You know, when they, you're at this level, you can do anything you want, pretty much. If you know what you're doing. Um, mostly because I am also Grandmasters with Terran. So I know everything that he's gonna do. Uh, anyways... Um, we have an invisible Mothership. <laughs> we go for the Twilight, Robo, and then plus one, um, not, not plus one, the attack speed as soon as possible. We cut probes at eight, so we should have eight here in a moment. Okay, we have nine now, but this one should have should be building. So at this point, we're gonna, um, you know, cut probes, build a Vault Prism, and then Chrono Boost, the Vault Prism, and the plus one attack. And yeah, no, why do I always call the plus one? <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna chrono boost the attack speed. And um, and then we build two more gateway as soon as possible. I, I just built like one more drone here, I'll probe. And then in total you have six. So you cut probes at eight, you build two more gateways, you build two more um drones, uh probes? Yeah probes. <laughs> and then you build uh, three more gateways. So if we look at this, when I'm gonna be warping in, I'm gonna have four um, adepts, right? So this is perfectly timed. This is perfectly timed. So I'm gonna be having four adepts in my warp prism, while these gateways are cooling down. These are getting produced, and then we are gonna warp in ten adepts in his base. Sorry about the camera control, by the way. I have no idea how to observe. Um, all right, so as you can see, the gateways are ready, and these are also turning on. And that's when you hopefully don't lose the warp prism and warp in 10 um, adepts in total. 
and this is how the build should look like there's not really much to it it's a super aggressive very very simple pvt build except that you know i cut the mothership core which you guys shouldn't do because i'm like i know everything that's gonna happen right he was probably gonna go for a medic or liberator and then try to hit me with it yeah so this is um, usually how it should look you probably don't warp in here that's that's a bit too aggressive you can try to warp in over here unless you have a tank then you probably want to warp in on top of him uh, you're gonna have the warp person in his main you're gonna warp in and you have if the game continues and you don't you didn't kill him then you're gonna take a third really really late upgrades as in when your third is up and running then you're gonna begin going upgrades and your army composition is adept attack speed blink immortals and of course the adept have attack speed still so your your main focus will be uh, blink stalkers because the adepts are more of a um, they're very good versus marines, but blink stalkers are more, you know, they, they defend harass and so on. You know, if you have any question, this I just wanted this to be a quick build. Like it's super simple, it's super good. Um, I don't do this too often. Well, I actually do it often this week because I wanted to learn it. But uh, otherwise, uh, tell me what you guys think. Simple build order. Try it out on the ladder. Give me a feedback if if this works for you, and if there's any weaknesses. Um, I'm usually adjust on the ladder, but that was it. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I hope this guy, this is gonna help you guys in PVT. Oh, and thanks for watching.